So let's say I've been asked to find the stationary points and determine their types for these two functions. So the first thing I want to do with uh, number 1 here, y equals minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 2, is to differentiate it. So I want to find dy by dx. So dy by dx, the 2 multiplies with the minus 3, so minus 6x, and this will become 4, the minus 2 disappears. Okay. So dy by dx is minus 6 plus 4. So then we can identify the stationary points by putting dy by dx equal to 0. So this minus 6x plus 4 will be equal to 0. So then we need to solve that equation. So 6x will be equal to 4. Divide both sides by 6. x is 4 sixths or 2 thirds. OK, so that's the x coordinate. So there is a stationary point at, well, the x coordinate is 2 thirds. We can substitute 2 thirds into the quadratic. OK, so minus 3 times 2 thirds x, uh, squared plus 4 lots of 2 thirds. Take away 2, so minus 2 thirds. So the stationary point is at 2 thirds minus 2 thirds. OK. So now I want to determine its type. In order to do that, we find the second derivative. So d2y by dx squared, the second derivative, we differentiate this. And what we get is minus 6. Now minus 6, regardless of what I substitute into it, Okay, if I substitute x is 2 thirds into this, well, there's no x to substitute into. So the second derivative will just remain as minus 6. Now, because the second derivative is negative, that means, therefore, that 2 thirds minus 2 thirds, the stationary point, is a local maximum. So because the second derivative is negative, our stationary point is a local maximum. OK? So what we've got here, in fact, is a quadratic. The minus 3x squared means the curve looks like that. OK, well, that kind of parabola. Its vertex is at the 2 thirds minus 2 thirds. So clearly, this is a local maximum. OK? In fact, it is the maximum of the curve. OK, so that's number one. So let's have a look at number two. So hopefully we've got something to substitute into this time. OK, so we'll see how that works. Right. So for number two, y equals 4x cubed minus 30x squared minus 10. First thing to do is to differentiate dy by dx. And we're going to get 12x squared take away 60x. OK? Now, the stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. So 12x squared minus 60x is 0. Now, we can divide both sides of this by 12 to simplify it for us. So that'd be x squared minus x is 0. Oh, sorry, not x. 60 divided by 12 is 5, so 5x. Apologies. Now, this we can factorise. You do not want to divide through by x, because remember, x can be 0. Dividing through by 0 causes problems, and you're going to lose a solution. So we factorise it as x times x minus 5. So either x is 0 or x is 5. OK, so there are two stationary points. We have one with x coordinate 0 and one with x coordinate 5. We need to find the y coordinates of those. Now, if I substitute x as 0 into this, I'm just going to get minus 10. So that's straightforward. Now, if I substitute 5 into this, 4 lots of 5 cubed. Take away 30 lots of 5 squared. Take away 10 is minus 260. So these are the two stationary points. 
So now I want to determine their type. In order to do that, I find the second derivative, d2y by dx squared. So I differentiate this. Now the 2 will come down and multiply with 12, so I'm going to have 24x take away 60. And then I substitute in the two x coordinates of the stationary points. So d2y by dx squared, when x is 0, will just be minus 60. So because that's negative, 0 minus 10 is a local maximum. OK, so we've got the first one. We know what it looks like. Then we do the same for the other coordinate. So when x is 5, OK, so what I get is 24 lots of 5 take away 60, which is 60. Now, because that one is positive, that means that 5 minus 260 is a local minimum. OK, so we found the two stationary points. We've identified what they are. Now, this makes sense because here, because we've got two stationary points, we have a cubic uh, with a positive x cubed. And so the curve must look something like that to have two stationary points. So, and start at the bottom left because it's a positive x cubed. So this one <coughs> is the 0 minus 10. This one is the 5 minus 260. So it confirms that that one had to have been a local maximum and that one had to be a local minimum. Okay, So that's how we can do it for a quadratic and a cubic.